before I got lost my leg, my world kind of collapsed, and I lost a woman that I loved for 32 years. And I ended up a um, couple months homeless, yeah. So I ended up in a shelter for a couple months. Well, I like it here. I need, I need help. I need services. I need whatever's out there for deaf people. God heard my prayers. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, very much. It's been very good. Northeast independent living is, they put me on a path to uh, recovery. NILP is a consumer-controlled, independent living center that provides advocacy and services to all people with disabilities who wish to live independently in the community. This is our story. Northeast Independent Living was founded in 1980 by a gentleman named Charlie Carr, who was a person who was a great advocate and educator and uh, made sure that he was part of that civil rights movement to make sure people with disabilities could gain access, equal access. We had maybe 12 staff and that one program focused on adults with physical disabilities only. We now are across disabilities. We now have 1,300 PCA consumers. I think our goal and mission is access for all. Independent Living Center means one thing, the opportunity for individuals to work with, beside, and next to another peer reaching their independent living goals. If you look at any one of our independent living centers, you're gonna see at least 51% of the staff and board are representative of the community we serve. Our center is about 67% persons living with a disability, and our board of directors are close to 80% of persons living with a disability. We really believe in, in self-direction and consumer control with our programs, and it's sort of against the, the medical model, which is that you know persons in the medical field know best about what persons with disabilities need. Persons with disabilities know what they need best because they've lived their own lives, they live it every day. We are people with disabilities, we're peers. We're working with people with disabilities around everyday life, uh, everyday issues that affect us and also affect them, and that is huge. There are so many deaf people out in the world that face so many frustrations in their day-to-day -day lives because there are so many barriers to language and access to communication. Working with peer counselors such as myself, I can help them to access the community even when things are very, very difficult. There was a, a consumer um, who uh, unfortunately experienced a workplace accident. He's now in a wheelchair. And meeting this individual over the phone, he, he posed a question, how can you know what it is to live with a disability? And that's when I told him for the very first time that I'm blind. There was a pause, and then um, from that day forward, we got closer. He felt more comfortable. We're one of the few independent living centers in the country that practices cross-disability. The whole concept is that as equals, as members of a community, we help one another. We're stronger as a community than we are as, as individuals. I happen to have a psychiatric disability, but across disabilities we come together. When my program was facing a funding challenge, it wasn't just you know the psychiatric disability community that came out. It was folks who use wheelchairs. It was folks who are blind. Skills training is also important, one of our core services. It's, it can be as simple as helping somebody budget their finances. We have our youth program here. So during the summertime, we have run a power project which explores different career fields for the students and each week is a different theme so one of the weeks was chef so they looked up menus online and the ingredients in the recipe and then the next day they came back and they made the dish here in our kitchen all skills training skills that you need to be independent i'm a skills specialist you helping out this person to give them the information and the help that they need, you know, to be out in the community so that the consumer could be more independent within their home. 
We serve different diversity. We have Cambodians, we have French, we have Italians. Our skill specialists, we have about four or five that are bilingual. We have a lot of people that they don't speak the language and they feel very comfortable, you know, and go to their home and to have someone they speak their language and then understand them. When we say advocacy is a core service, we mean that we're here to help you advocate for your needs individually and to go to the state house, to go to the feds, to go wherever we need to go to make sure that we're doing the advocacy for the system. We have worked with hundreds of thousands of people with disabilities throughout the country to get the Americans with Disabilities Act passed. People with disabilities are the largest minority group in the world. We were the last ones to have an equal rights law. I'm the Youth Services Program Manager. We attend IEP meetings or 504 plan meetings to advocate for the student in their transition into adulthood, um, whether or not they need more life skills training or transitional training. We always advocate for the student. The other side of the transitions is transitions as we, we age, transitions as we begin new lifestyles. Your health has taken a turn. Charlie was living in a place that was not the highest quality of care. And for people like Charlie who are capable and confident and young at heart and fun-loving, it's not an appropriate place for people like Charlie. Charlie needed subsidized housing, so we helped him fill out applications. We helped him gather his core documents, birth certificates, social security cards, things like that. They helped me find a place to live. You know, if it wasn't for them, I don't know what my life would have been like. You know? We open the door to opportunities, to possibilities. We help people to be independent. We need to be able to live just like everybody else, regardless if we have disabilities or not. I love them. I'll put it that way. I love independent. Call us, email us, and visit our website to learn more about how we can help you, a loved one, or a friend. NILP, peer-to-peer -peer resources for people with disabilities.